morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's Saturday. I hope you got great plans for the weekend. Our weather is looking like it might be the final great weekend of the year. Um, Warm-ish, very mild temperatures, sunshine, very exciting. Uh, so I'm, I made a journal. On, on the sly. You knew nothing about it until yesterday. I posted a, a photo of the front cover on my Instagram. Um, so let's do a little flip through. So this little baby is just about five inches by a little better than seven and a half. And the spine, about an inch across. Um, I've had, I've had a box of owl related themed stuff for a while and I've actually made, I think I've made a couple of owl themed journals and I still have more stuff. <laughs> so, um, I had been saving this, this book for a little while and it was time to become a journal. So it has five hidden hollowback spine signatures and uh, let's get started. Oh, I already got things falling out. So the inside cover, I have used uh, this handmade paper to cover the inside and I've stitched this stamped image of uh, these daisies to the front. I think it was, oh, I'm going to say a name and then it'll be wrong. Somebody from the west side of Canada <laughs> sent this to me. I have tabs on each of the five signatures and it involves this like woven fabric, some handmade paper, some uh, feathers and some stitching. Um, this is the original front page. Nice thick, thick paper. And copyright is 1906. There was a um, oh my goodness, an inscription. Uh, to Mervyn Parker Har Harriman from Grandpa, Christmas 1914. Um, this says copyright is 1906. Lots of tea dyed stuff in here. So this is some, I, I wanted to bring in a little bit of blue because there was some blue in, in the cover for sure. Um, but mostly neutral shades. So this is some tea dyed graph paper. This is a page from a book. Some tea dyed uh, typing paper, I believe. Here's some packing paper. This is a postcard of an owl. And this is just a little journaling card that I made. It slips right in there. Oh. I covered the back of the postcard with um, tea dyed tracing paper so you could see it was postcard but you could also use it to journal on. This is the start of the second signature. Page from a encyclopedia. This page from a notebook, and I made this um, altered stencil some time ago. Um, there's a video on altered stencils somewhere, and I've got these two vintage playing cards with images of owls. And again, there's some you know bringing in some of the blue there.
Next signature, here's Mrs. Brown Owl. Picture, uh, piece from dictionary page. This is um, a document from 1940. Next signature. This is from an old encyclopedia. Uh, this is an old envelope. Just nice and raggedy. 1920, I think. More owls. This is a page from a um a book that you would collect your tea cards in. Um, I just tore it right out of the book because it, three of the four cards were owls. So um, these are glued on there, so they weren't going to be easy to remove. And I like the little images of the, the owls. It does have this morning dove, but meh. I'll cover that up. <laughs> This is an old piece of music. It talks about the forest, the woods, hunters. Here's a uh, a tag I made some time ago. A page from a book. Here's another tag that I made some time ago. This is a little <clears throat> little pocket that I made from fabric. I just stitched it down. And um, this little stamp bird I put there to sort of break it up a bit. Again, the back is covered with this handmade paper. So essentially a writing journal. Um, if this is some 100 pages, if this is something you're interested in adding to your journal collection, take a look at my Etsy page. You'll find it there. Now, um, while we're finishing off owls, I might as well finish off owls. So I'm going to be putting together um, a pack of things that I've collected for owl journals, things that I've made for owl journals. Um, the first little pile involves little pictures, fussy cuts, um, cigar bands. Here's another tea card. Um, here's a little selection of scraps of fabric that I thought was interesting. This is a bird checklist. Uh, this is the guts from that. Oh, might as well throw it in. Owls, 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 owls. I even have some stickers of owls. So there's that. Oh, I even have a, <clears throat> a flashcard and this little gift tag. I have two kinds of feathers. I had this put in my box. They're, they're, they're pearls, but they're sort of, um, I don't even know what, beigey color. And I think I threw them in here because this, 
the su this shape suggested wings and you know eyebrows you know the eyebrows that well birds don't have eyebrows but owls have you know that shape <laughs> so I think that's why I threw them in there um I have this trim so it has like this braided trim in it but then it has like eyelash trim sort of woven around it or sewn through it I've never seen anything like it some scraps of eyelash trim some little scraps of leather um I don't know. There's a a tassel. I made I made one too many little tabs, so that could be the top of a a tag maybe. This is some sort of ribbon. It's made from cotton. Um but it's variegated, so it has orange, green, and these brown colors. You can sort of see the orange and the green and the brown in there. I've never had it opened. These little um, they're like eyelets, but they're not eyelets. You know what I mean. You set them like an eyelet. The name will come to me later. Got some. These are vintage uh, paper fasteners. These are from Prima. So these are paper, but there's a couple different colors of leaves, a couple styles. <clears throat> this is a page from a Daphne's diary, I think. So they're two sided be cut out. I've got this other trim. Again, there's ribbon and then this woven stuff and then this greeny stuff. So that's another unusual trim. I think this is seam binding. Yes, seam binding. Um, these are some fabric samples for men's suits, men's summer suits. They're lightweight. There's a metal owl. Here's some gold velvet ribbon. Uh, some... Owl themed cards. Um, I mean, it, it, they're very heavy, so maybe I will just put a handful of each in because I don't want to. I don't want somebody to end up paying a bazillion dollars in postage when you only need a few. How many can you use? These are pictures that I have um, mounted on. I think it was sewing paper, sewing um, instructions, and then I covered the back with tea dyed paper. So they're all, they all have owls. So here's the owl from Winnie the Pooh. Here's the owl from the owl and the pussycat. I have a couple more tags that I made. This 
So these th these three are similar, and then this one's a little different. And then I have some pages. <clears throat> That's acetate with a picture of an owl. This is from um, a book about birds. There's some owls on the top. This is a dictionary page, and must have owl on it somewhere. Oh, right there, owl. Some more book pages. Or owls. Or owls. <laughs> These are some stickers of owls. So This is exactly the sort of thing you need to get your own owl journal up and running. This is also going to be listed in my Etsy. So go have a look. Anyway, try to get everything organized. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, hope you thought this was interesting. Maybe you got some ideas. And uh, yeah.